Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me or are new, my name is Lauren Miller and welcome. In today's video, I'll be recreating Carolina's SFX slit throat tutorial. To start, I used liquid latex and tissue and created several layers until I was satisfied with the thickness. You can do as many layers as you'd like, but I did three to four layers. You'll want to make sure the tissue and latex are completely dry until you move on to the next step. I then went in with a darker foundation and began covering the tissue in the foundation. Don't worry if the color doesn't match, I'll be doing several layers. I also used a loose finishing powder and applied it over the foundation, which will make it easier to cut through the latex and tissue. I then took a sharp pair of scissors and created an opening in the latex where it will appear I have been cut open. You'll want to trim down some of the latex and also stretch out the latex to create a more flesh-like appearance. Also, be careful when you are using the scissors. I actually pinched some of the fake skin together and then I made a little small incision in that area and this will make it easier for you to cut through the skin. I just recently bought new makeup from Ben Nye and I wanted to test out the products and see if I liked them. I took grease paint in the colors red and black and placed the red all over the inside of the wound. I then took the black grease paint and put it on the inside folds to enhance the depth. Next, I took thick blood from Ben Nye, and this is where everything started to look more realistic. I placed the thick blood all over the inside of the wound, and I loved it so much. I was getting so excited, and I was so happy with how everything turned out. I also went in with fresh scab blood from Ben Nye and placed it all over the inside of the wound. This also helped cover some of the spots that I missed with the thick blood and this really enhanced it and oh, I was so happy and excited. The folds will also stick to your skin and so I just went in with a q-tip and kind of pushed them back up. To finish off the look, I used Ben Nye stage blood and began dabbing the product all over with a stippling sponge. You can also create drips with a q-tip. And there you have it, a slit throat tutorial. Going from products from the Halloween store to Ben Nye has really improved my work and I can't wait to keep creating more SFX videos. Let me know what you guys think of this video down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week.